I hope you can see my screen. <laughs> yeah. So what I did, I just uh, my own objects. I have my own model now. Car rental, cost layer. So I have some tables here in this. So I'm opening this table. Okay. So now what I'm going to do <coughs> in this table, I'm going to create on the field. Similarly, like pan number. Okay, going to <coughs> going to methods, and here I'm going to go into overhead methods. Now I'm taking the init value method. Now you can understand very clearly init value method. So I took init value method. In this init value method, use this keyword, this start. A number. So what is this method? This is a overhead method to write your logic. And on what um, for what purpose you are using to initialize the value when you are creating a new record. If you want to initialize the you know same value every time, if you want to put the same value manually, if you want to key that, so it uh, you know it's uh, unnecessarily we have to waste your time. And if you use this init value method, you can fix that value every time if you are creating a new record, it will automatically assign that value. Not only that one, generally in real time, if you want to based on the uh, you know uh, need, if you want to bring some other values from the some other table, and if you want to initialize, you can do that based on the conditions. Okay, based on that record type, uh, say for example sales order, based on the sales order type, if you want to assign that uh, some other field values based on the conditions, you can do that. Okay, but for example, I am showing you the simple thing for you. So, for example, if we create a new record every time, it will assign this value is you are assigning it. Exactly. That's what I'm going to show you now. OK, so. So this code you understood, right? What we are doing? So what yeah. we are doing, we have taken the overhead methods. This is the signature. So after super, I'm writing my logic. This dot pan. OK, so now I will build this. I need to set this also right one moment. Yeah, I need to print. Cancel. Go to your project. It's true. Okay, fine. This refers to that the current class like cars. Which one? This keyword refers to car. This keyword, this keyword will refer to the current object. You are into cars, right? Cars. We'll refer to the cars table. Cars. You can access all the table fields, indexes, and methods, everything from that table. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do uh, like if we want to assign values, like for example, this dot pen. If we want to uh, for first, if we enter our record first record, so we want that. Uh, the value should be one if we enter the second record so we want the value should be two so we can do that also here you can do that of course you can do that also you can simply always you have to get to assign the second value we have to know the previous number right yeah, yeah. So if you have your logic you can write it here so can you the, the as surrogate key is used like assigning values one two three no no what will be surrogate key is to assign the values Surrogate key is the, you know, uh, default value. No, no, no. Surrogate key is the default index in the table level. Okay. Based on the record, it will takes as a index. It will be index. It will be created as a uh, default index on the record. E. That is called surrogate key. Okay. Okay. Record e, record e is the identity, which will be having like one unique number. The yeah. ID is one unique number in that table. Whether you will create your in unique index or not, you will create your unique field or not. We'll mm -hmm. have the system unique field in the every table that is required. Right. Okay. okay. That will be generated by the kernel classes. Yeah, but in SQL, like uh, mm -hmm. so key is used to assign values like one, two, three, four. So I am a bit confused here. <laughs> No, that's what you don't compare with other technologies when you are learning a technology. Try yeah. to clean your mind and uh, 
Yeah. Be as like with empty mind. Yeah. Even I know some other languages, some other technologies. <laughs> If we compare, you know, that will be there. It may be different, and here it may be different. Mm, yes. Yes. taking time because uh, it's a new project the model has been created so it's really uh, it's taking time once it is ready and if i run and show you you can see that so any forms here okay so similarly we can use other other overhead methods also based on our need if you are modifying any field For example, uh, you have opened a form, and if you are modifying any field, whenever you are modifying any field, if you want to write your logic based on some conditions or based on your requirement, we can take modified, modified field. So this is the modified field. We can write our logic in modified field. This will execute when you are modifying any field. So this is the signature. Modified field is the method. Return type is. Null public is access modifier. So this is the parameter. You will get the default field ID. Whichever the field you are modifying, that field ID you will get it. Based on this field ID, you can execute your logic. You can write your condition. You can execute only for that specific field. So if you are modifying, for example, if you are modifying car ID, in car table we have car ID, right? And so whenever whenever you are modifying car ID. Then only if you want to execute your logic, we can try it. Modified field. Okay. So this is completed. Build is completed. Let me open this table and. So now you can see I'm creating a new record. So when I create a new record, so you can see always the PAN number is defaulted. It's defaulted at that point. So it's defaulted. So I'm saving this record. I'm creating one more record. I'm not putting other field values since it's not mandatory. So it's again another number. Also, it's got default. If you want, you can modify or you can keep it with the same number. You can, if you want to make uh, it not be editable, you can go to that field properties. Go to the field properties. So allow edit. No, you can set no so that that field will not be editable. Okay. So this is how I am going to use it. Uh, modified means init value. So modified field is nothing but when you go to that field, for every field we will have one field ID. Okay. So based on that field ID, when you are modifying some any field, so based on that field we can write our logic. If this field ID, you will get the field ID. Field ID equal to field num. Field num is the method we will use it to get the field ID. So far, comma table name comma field. What is the field? Car ID. I'm getting noise here from him. Let's keep it in here. I'm 
Okay, so this is how we'll write logic. So in this, what we can do? So based on our condition, so whatever the condition, I mean, uh, you would like to write, for example, I'm putting this info, I'll show you some examples later. So this is how we can write. So whenever you modify that, it will exit only when you modify that car ID field, not for other, other fields. If you don't put this condition, it will execute for all the fields. Can you please tell me uh, once more what this will do? Modified field. When you modify any field on the form level, if yeah. you want to execute any any of your logic, you can use this modified field method. So actually, the signature is this parameter will have for every field modification that field ID will get it. Okay. Yeah, for every field will have the field ID. So based on that field ID, by using this field ID, I'm just yeah. checking. I want, I want, I'm, I wanted to execute only for car ID, and I'm modifying for car ID. I have to execute my logic, business logic. Okay. So I wanted to check if that field ID is my car ID field. To get okay. your car ID field, we'll use the field num function. Field okay. num cars comma your field. So, so it will get that field ID. It will check that field ID. So if that field ID is true, it will go and execute your logic. Okay, fine. So if we modify that particular field, so the logic which is inside this uh, if condition will be executed. Yes, yes. So okay. you can write only that specific field ID and that field modification. If you don't put this condition, it will execute for every field. Okay. If you write simply logic here, it will execute okay. for all the field modifications. Okay. okay. Modification in the sense, if you are putting some value here, if you are modifying. <laughs> okay. That's so so this, will this will display a message like info modified field. Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Okay. Because I have not written any logic. Yeah. Logic. yeah. But, uh, making you understand, I'm writing this. Okay. For simple example. So if you go to cast table and see some modified field method, I mean modified field methods, and you can see how they have written. So you'll understand. And you can also try some logics. Maybe it will see. I will show you like uh, how it works. It's taking time. Is there any method like uh, if we left that fields, all the fields blank, like you have created here, only assign the value to the uh, car num ID, and rest all the fields are empty. So it will should it it will give an error like these. Generally, in a in a master table. Whatever the field you are making it as a unique field, you okay. have to set that field properties. You have to set uh, mandatory. So when you put mandatory, you have not put it actually. You have to put as a mandatory. Okay, so fine. When you create a, when you create a new field, if you don't put the car ID, so it will okay. not allow it. Okay, okay. So because it's mandatory, right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, you have to do that. Mm -hmm. So uh, now what I'm going to do. Modified field is field method. If you modify some field, it will show you. But for other field, it will not show. See, not showing. When you modify this field, then only it will show. See, now again it will show. So two times we got it. Can you see here in the above? First time when I modified 44, it shown. Second yeah. time when I when I put one triple three three, it is showing again. Okay. These are the work. Mm. So I'm just uh, winding up for today because I have some other priority works. We'll catch up uh, in next session. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
Hey, sorry guys, suddenly I have disconnected. Um, yeah, that's what I have some other priority works. I'm winding up for today. So we can use other override methods also and try practicing that. Yeah, uh, you can do it. You can. You'll get a lot of examples for other override methods. You can try okay. init value. Init value we have discussed. You can try field uh, validate field. You can try validate right. There are so many methods. There are some methods which will start with validate. So they okay. are related to validation methods. Okay. So they are very important. Anyway, we will yeah. also discuss in the next session. You can okay, try other fine. methods also. Write, okay. insert, update. Okay. okay. These are all the mostly used methods. Mm -hmm. Insert, update, write, validate, write. Mm. Okay. Validate field. Mm. Okay. Mm. Modified uh, field. Yeah. Init value. These are all the regular usage used methods. Okay. Fine. You can go to first table and see how what kind of overhead methods they have used. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 Okay, yes. any doubts? No, no, fine. How about others? Yeah, I will ask you later. <laughs> okay. Lakshman is not talking. 